Hi guys, it is Thema, and today I am coming to you with a challenge video. Um, Nikki Tutorial started this challenge, I believe. I've seen a few people do it since. It is called the Power of Makeup Challenge. Basically, where you put makeup on half of your face and leave the other part of your face untouched. So that way you can see the comparison, which I think would be kind of cool with me because you see all my redness and stuff that I have to cover up every day. Plus, like my little cat scratch, so it looked like a scar because Katgar and Chekhov were playing and they ran over my head when I was asleep. So, luckily, I had my blanket over my face because I nest when I sleep, or it would have been a lot deeper. So, I have to cover that up. But I'm going to actually leave that one for today. I'm, not, I'm going to do this side with makeup. So hopefully it'll turn out okay. Um, I have a lot of products here. I use all of them except for one, which I'm going to go with a teal color in like my eye thing. So this one I haven't used before. It's from Too Faced Bulletproof 24-Hour Eyeliner, and like I said, it's teal. So because I've got my Elsa shirt on and. My little sun and a band-aid. I'm like a frozen whore. I'm sorry. I have a test. So, um, and I'm going to try this and see how it goes. So, I, I think it'll be really fun. And I'm interested to see like the big difference. Even I'm, when I'm applying makeup, I notice the difference after I've applied my like foundation and everything, my primer, my foundation, and my setting powder. It's like all the redness is gone and it's like you feel normal finally. Um, because people um, will stop me and ask me if I'm okay because sometimes my face gets so red they think that something's wrong but it's just my medication, it's a side effect. So, it's flushing and just started making me really self-conscious or they just stare. So, let's begin, shall we? I'm gonna try to remember not to touch the side of my face. So, I'm gonna, from here, over. So, I'm just gonna, just gonna head, where's my mirror? And my mirror broke, well it didn't break, it just, fell apart. It actually fell out the car on the way back from Duke and this part, this side, which is the side I actually use, like popped off. The other side is actually the zoom side, but I don't like that side because I can't see anything in the zoom side, so anyway. It was just a dollar mirror from the Dollar Tree my mom got me, so hopefully I won't blind and do. So. I need to actually wipe it down really quick first though because it got kitty paw prints all over it because I had it over there on the pillow that I normally sleep on. Alright, the first thing I'm going to be using is Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. Um, I did have the Hard Candy Face Primer that was green for the redness corrector. But it came out so thick and it would not blend and it just looked horrible on the skin. I threw it away and had to buy this. I would not recommend that to anybody unless I just got a bad batch. Because you know how primer is supposed to be thin and not really supposed to feel it type of thing. But it just came out like thick. So, and I paid almost $6 for that. Which I know that's not a terribly a lot, but this was I think four maybe it wasn't it was cheaper and it's much better um the Maybelline Master Prime so far has been the best but this is a, a close second in my personal opinion for my redness so comes out nice and creamy. That other was chunky. It was nasty. I did want to put it on my face. Okay, let me get a little bit for my forehead. 
Whoop. That's a lot. Work it in. Crap. I'm not, well, you can't see primer, so. I'm so used to doing my whole face, so I gotta catch myself. Okay. It's all gonna come off and ready anyway after I get done with this video, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Alright, I use this first, it's from Hard Candy, it's a color correct expert cream. It's really lightweight. Kind of like your primer or um, concealer, and it really works and make really good for redness. It's at Walmart. It's about five or six bucks. So, and then they have a special. You can get two for ten. But this is the only thing I needed. And then you just put it where like your redness is. Most of mine is under my cheeks and like right here. So sometimes it'll get really bad in my forehead, but not today. It's actually worse over here, but I'm doing this side. So, anyway, you can see where the primers are already color corrected, some of it. Um, but I put the green on first, then I put the this on, then I put the foundation on, then I put the setting powder on. I know I do it back asswards, but um, that's just how I roll. <laughs> Everybody has their own way of putting on makeup, so. This is what I found works best for me. So let me see. And this tends to dry fairly quickly, so you need to go ahead and blend it. I'm gonna go to the salon and get my hair dyed platinum blonde by professional because I wanna be able to dye it whenever the color runs out because now it's actually blonde from where the purple has come out. So my hair takes really good to blonde lightening agents. So hopefully it won't take too many treatments. But I don't wanna do it myself because I don't want to break all my hair and make my hair really unhealthy because it's pretty healthy right now. So anyway, you can see the, a little bit of green. So, and the concealer I use is CoverGirl Invisible Concealer or Clean Invisible Concealer. So there, I used a bunch of it. So. This is about seven dollars at Walmart. Most of my stuff's from Walmart, other than like you'll see the more expensive stuff. I've got cat walking through this way, so. Ugh. Got this one strand of hair that wants to get right under my eye. I don't know, I don't put any on my chin, I just put under my eyes, cause I just don't. Okay, so that's all blended, so. You can already tell all my redness is pretty much gone, but there's still like a little bit of a greenish tint now from the first um, type of concealer. So now we got some foundation. Um, I try, I am trying a new foundation, which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focused Foundation in Nude Ivory. Um, it's five, six dollars, and you get a whole ounce, uh, and it works really well. 
The only thing is it's got this weird applicator that I'm not too keen on, but I put it on my beauty blender anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But still. <laughs> Ooh, it looks like lip kisses. <laughs> At first, I did. And this one I thought was going to be closer to my tone, but it's really light on me. And this is the second or a third lightest. But the next shade was dark, so I'm going to have to go to Sephora and splurge a little bit and get matched to something in there because I, mean, I don't mind being pale, but I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. And it looks much better once you put setting powder on, so. And I don't know how to contour, so I don't. Uh, I've seen plenty of people contour. I'm just not brave enough to try it because I'm just a chicken. But this is um, light to medium coverage, I would say. So, good for everyday wear. It's, it doesn't feel very thick or cakey at all. But if you have redness like me, you will have to put a little bit more on than the normal person. And they have a bunch of shades, so hopefully you should be able to find your skin tone in there. Now for my forehead. It's just a, it's just a weird thing. I guess they think everybody's using beauty blenders, so... Much. Too much. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like Too Faced from Batman. <laughs> but she needs to make his, well, kind of made an appearance in the Dark Knight trilogy. But my favorite Batman villain from Gotham is Oswald and then the Riddler. And I shipped them so hard because <laughs> they were just so much friends. And then they had to go and ruin it. Oh, I'm like, what's that dot? I used to have a lip piercing here. I'm thinking about getting snake bites again. Or snake bites. Okay. So, there's the foundation. Like I said, it's really pale compared to my actual skin tone. Um, it's like, almost like a more of an olive color. be a good one for Eugenie and Cuny this color so I guess the next time when I run out of this I'll go like I said, to Sephora and get matched I think I'm not sure are they the only people that match you I don't um, know of any other stores around here that would because Sephora is like 45 minutes away and we have a belt about 20 minutes away but that one doesn't have makeup it just has the perfume counters so um, hi Josie. Now I'm going to set it 
with Cody's air spun powder. This I didn't realize was such an important step in makeup. This really makes your your foundation and your base look so much better. Um, even if your foundation is kind of like when I had that hard candy thick um, primer that didn't really act like a primer, it made it look so much better. I swear, that's the best stuff ever. It's six ninety six for one, and I use the translucent one because so that way it doesn't have any color to it. But it does have what they call flashback when you take a picture. You can have a white face, but I've already got a really white face anyway, so better than having this. It does have that like traditional makeup y older perfume lady old lady smell. Well that didn't work very well to me. She tried jumping off of something and she slid and didn't do it. I used to try to get some off the little puff that comes with it first and then I go into the actual and just get it all over my computer. So I opened it and put the lid on my computer and then it settled on my computer. So anyway. And when it, but the only thing bad thing about this is when I put this on one, I start sneezing. So I'm apologizing in advance for sneezing. Oh, it's that dry. I figure it doesn't matter if it gets on the side of the face because it's clear and it doesn't show up. So, my mom's like, what is that? I'm like, it's kind of like hairspray for your face. It makes sure your makeup doesn't go anywhere type of ordeal. Alright. So, now it's going to be for the eyebrows. I'm trying to get the powder off of everything. I just used the Milani Stay Put Brow Color in shade 4 Brunette. Works really good, stays all day. Um, Cause I, I need to get them waxed I guess and shaped better. But until I do this, we'll just make them look more lively or this one look more lively. All I do is just fill them in type of thing. I don't do any fancy drawing or whatever. Greedy. Greedy, baby. Here, can you sit here? There we go. I'm just climbing all in the makeup. Sit with me. Unless you're gonna sit somewhere else. There's not really much room because I got makeup all over the bed. I need to get a um, eyebrow shaper so I can trim them a little bit because my eyebrows are like the hairs are really long, um, especially on the tail. So. darkens them up, makes them show up a little bit better. Like I said. Wow. They look really, really pale. I'm, I'm just amazed at the difference. Okay, 
now I'm gonna go for the eyes. Um, I'm using e.l.f. primer. Uh, it says 2177 or 21711 sheer. So I don't know if there's any. This is the only one that was on the turn thingamajigger. Um, I've actually used so much of this I had to get another one. Because I am running low. But I used this. A lot of people will use MAC paint chili pots but they're $22 I think and this is three so I'd rather spend my money on the MAC lip, um, metallic lipsticks because those are gorgeous and I want like almost all of them so I've got a list of them that I want since my mom jacked my mom pale rose color it was like a uh, rose gold color because they didn't have modern minus with Modern Midas, which is a true rose gold color in stock at the time. It's coming in the next day, but I can't drive another 45 minutes every day. So, I'm like really scraping the barrel because the container is actually the shade of the primer, so you can't tell when you're getting low until you're low. And some people prime underneath the eyes. I don't because I've got the foundation stuff up there, so I don't see a point to. I'm gonna use this end of my beauty blender and just work it in, blend it out, whatever the terminology is. I've got like a little red spot there that has appeared. I don't know why. Like, you know, when older people get those little red dots on them. They're not like pimples or anything. They're almost like red moles. I've got a little one right there. But it's like right on the line, like where my lashes are. So it's hard to conceal, but it's not like it's big enough for you to see anyway, you know. So I'm not too concerned about it. This is for me the first time I'm not going to use my Moon Dust palette because I'm going to use the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. It was really cheap. It was like $12 or $13. And there are lots of gorgeous colors in here. I'm going to haul, I think, on this video. This. And they're really good quality. They last all day. They go on really good. Nice pigmentation. And then I'm going to use it into the blue steel glitter eyeshadow. Um, the lady when I went in there she remembered me from when I went the first time to get the Alchemist palette after they had just come out and they were sold out of them and I was looking at these but the, the first set the batch that came out and they only had the one that had like the black gel with the silver glitter and I'm like eh. and she's like well we've got three new shades they're in the drawer technically we're not supposed to let people look in the drawer but it um you can swatch them she gave me the testers and swatch them and see if you like them the other two are more like a rose gold pink color, and this one's like a uh, pretty, um, it lo looks like the, the tab, it's the mermaid color. Oh, no wonder I'm shaking it the wrong way to try to get it out, no wonder it's not coming out. But I've used it, I top off, oh, I've used a lot of it, I'm gonna have to get another one before they sell out. You can see how much I've used. And I've got, I got it maybe a month ago, two months ago at the most. So anyway, remove my plastic. I always keep these plastic sheets for some reason. I don't know why, I just do, I'm weird. I'm like, I love keeping the package, everything in their original package. I don't, oh, I do have my new brush in here. I got a new e.l.f. eyeshadow brush because I lost my other eyeshadow brush that was a little that I got with this set, this Glam and Beauty set, which works really good, but the only one I have is this really tiny one, and it's good for the inner corners, but and these don't have no, they don't have names, like the colors don't, so. I'm going to go in with this 
top teal color right here and just go all over. So, crazy. Cause there's, and then I'm, excuse me. And then I'm just gonna cover it with that Stila. I never used this brush before, so I don't know how good it is. I saw the plastic on that mirror and I can't, it's not a crystal. I'm doing this, I'm doing the wrong eye. Alright, nice brush. Okay, looks really good for like patting it down and stuff. The other one's good for like getting in corners and stuff and blending it out really good. So. But I want to get those tart, they're like really soft like rainbow colored brushes. I saw them on like the tester and I felt them, I'm like oh my gosh I didn't know brushes could be this soft because I've only gotten like the cheap ones so. Then I saw somebody had Lisa Frank ones, and I'm like, I don't know how soft they are, though. Blend that out. So, I said I'm not going for like a really dark, dark look on my eyes. It's the eyeshadow because the stilo is just going to cover it. Alright. That part. And let's see. That. And it's really, really easy to apply. I mean, I like it. I haven't tried it anywhere but my eyes. It said you can use it on your lit it says glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow but I've seen people use it on their lips so. And it doesn't take very long to dry and it doesn't like goop up on the top of your like eyebrow bone, eye, whatever they call it. And it doesn't really have a smell. It has like a, no, that's just the powder that's Cody's ears from the powder that that and something, but anyway, very pretty. I like it a lot. I mean, this camera really does, I mean, it's I gotta make this funny face. It doesn't really do it justice to how glittery it is in real life. And now, like, the color shifts from a blue to a purple to a pink. It's gorgeous. I would highly recommend it. It was like 20 something dollars, I think $22, but it was well spent. Okie dokie. Now for my under eye, I'm going to try this thing. This has got a built-in, like, mm, smudging part to it. I've never used it, so we're going to see how this goes. So that's what that end looks like. Shadow liner. Okay, 
pencil. Okay, I was like, it looks kind of like a liquid, so I didn't know. Okay, so there it is. A pretty big, pretty big tip. I did get my first ColourPop order in a couple days ago, so I'll be doing a like a first impressions on that. So there we go, that's that. It's very creamy and goes on very smooth. So that was nice. Okay, Now, e.l.f. has a gel eyeliner as well in the little tub, kind of like this, and I have that, and that works excellent as well. So if you don't want to spend like the bigger bucks to get Too Faced, it's only $3 at e.l.f. Anyway, I got a line, but I want a little more oomph, so I'm going to go underneath um, and put some teal underneath. Ah, oh, maybe I will be using my um, moon shadow, moon dust palette. I like, I love, I am obsessed with this palette. My favorite color I usually always use is this element. I'm oh, sorry, you can't see it. Is the element, which is that rose golden color right here, and I use this a lot. This color, which is galaxy, and this color light here, actually go over purple. If you put purple on as a base, really well. And they don't like show up green, but it gives you this um, this, the glitter that's in it. It's just a nice effect. So, non pro tip, but let's see which color. I'm gonna go in with light year. I'm gonna go in with this one because it's closest to the teal that I've used. That was Quinn. She's jumpy. She's sniffing the box over there that I've got some makeup that I was going through my box and stuff that I've not used that much or not used at all that I'm not probably going to use. I've got it put away either to give away or to see if my mom wants it. don't know teal is my favorite color teal and purple love them doing you can kind of see it so anyway and now I'm gonna wipe that brush off and I want to go in and put a little bit of highlight in the corner so done with this palette so I'm gonna go in with the Alchemist palette which so this, I, it wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to have to get an Anastasia one and see um, if that one's any more pigmented. Because I have to literally, might be able to see the grooves where I've had to go down hard in this to get it on my brush and for it to actually show up on my brush. So, like, I was looking forward to this palette so hard. So much and it's just pigment isn't as good as I thought it was gonna be 
I'm gonna go in with green emerald, even though it's not, you can see a little bit of a green shift in it, but. There's a hair on my brush. Quinn, does that say your name on it, huh? Is it? It's 1 16 a.m. Trying, I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. You should go to bed when the sun starts coming up because I have this thing about being asleep at night. And I've got a window that doesn't have any covering on it, and it freaks me out. I'm like paranoid somebody's gonna be watching me or something. So that's why I never watch any creepy videos at night. I just put them in my watch, add to my watch later list. For the next day. Okay, I'm just putting this in the corner. Mm, there you go. You can see it. Pop. Alright. Hmm. Uh, some people go under their brow bone and highlight. I've never done that, so I'm going to try that now. But I'm going to go in with the middle color, which is Ultraviolet Amethyst. This color. And see if that does anything. I'm not going to do a whole lot, because I don't want to screw things up. If I had like groomed eyebrows, I think it would look a little bit better. So, but it's there. You can't really see it, but it's there. I also got from the Dollar Tree. I use a lot. Is this for a highlight in the corner? It's LA Colors Shimmering Loose Shadow with a brush. Only thing is, it's on this pain in the butt container, and you can't get this part off. So you have to like take this and like dab it in the corner and then spread it with your brush which is what I think I might do up here and I've got a purple color too it's probably what looks good too but it's got a lot of glitter in it and it's four dollars I mean you can't beat that so my eyelash Pretty. I hate to wash this off. So let's see. I'm going to use the ultraviolet amethyst, I guess. No, I'm going to use pink opal, the one at the bottom. And I don't have any, I don't do blush or anything. highlight right here so I go in oh look at all that fallout and you probably didn't see it there's a lot of fallout all right here I don't I don't want like a huge blinding highlight because it was funny when I went to the yard sale in a, another video which may be before or after this I filmed it the same day but um I had used the purple and when I put it on and put it on at my mom's house and their lighting is very like yellow so I couldn't tell how much I was putting on and when I got out in the sun my whole cheek looked like it was bruised it was so much so hilarious but I can see in this light really good how much is on okay I'm gonna blend it out in a bit I guess I should learn to contour because that way my face would actually have a shape to it. Because all you do is you go in right here with like a darker shade, right? You draw that face and you go in right there with the contour stick. So 
see. There you go. You can see a little bit of the pink right there. Like it's not like a Jeffree Star. Like it's gonna blind you, but it's there. And in person, you can see it a lot better. So. This video is going to be an hour. Next is eyelashes. I don't use falsies. I use my sister in law got me this voluminous Miss Manga Rock from what brand? L'Oreal. Now, I haven't been able to find another one because this works really good for me. I really like this one. I actually kind of like this one better than the Better Than Sex one from Too Faced. Um, I've seen the Voluminous Manga one, but it's kind of like a pink cap. But I need to find another one of these. That way I can keep it as packaging until I run out. I'm going to use tomorrow because I really like this whole combination. The only bad thing about this is if you go to do like the top of your lashes, it tends to clump. So what I use is I get a, a clean spoolie and separate the lashes that way. I don't know if that's the intent to make them clump together a little bit like a manga character or what, but it just doesn't look good sometimes. Like, see how it's clumped together to like five big sets of lashes? Like this in person. Oh, I have a very mermaid-looking eye. So, anyway, now for lips. I've chosen. I'm choosing to experiment a little bit. I'm going to use Katy Perry CoverGirl Pink Paws, which is one of the lighter color pinks, and I'm going to use a topper, the Lime Crime Diamond Cruncher Crushers, and Lit to top it to make it like holographic ish so I use this one a lot see I have the hands that got the indent in it I need to get a nude lip color so all right just half the lips that's pretty fun thing is if you try to build this up too much it will like get clumpy and if you try to like after you've eaten and try to reapply it um, it gets like a f weird film you just need to wipe it all off with like a, like a paper towel or a damp paper towel and start over instead of applying it on top of that because it's just gross looking Not like the MAC ones you can reapply for days and build and build. Can you see a difference? Not really.
a little bit brighter so hopefully that little lip topper which you can use them by themselves you don't have to use them as a topper hopefully it will make it pop it was between this one lit and choke I didn't know which one to use but this one was a little bit darker so it matched the color I thought a little bit better To a rose gold color, very nice. Oh, that was a funny face. Okay. Oh, now you can see it really good. Let that dry down a little bit. Let me see if I can get one of my napkins and Ooh, they're about to fall. Shout out to Bounty because not only do they make frozen paper towels, they make frozen napkins. So of course I've got a set of each. Let's see if I can Makeup. I'm gonna figure out. I don't know why I flipped it, like it's gonna make a difference. Okay, we'll do this. No makeup. Oh, this way. This works good. No makeup, all the redness, scratches. All that good stuff with makeup. And the completed look. And like you can really see that line going down my nose. It's not quite half, it's like a little bit over half. That was fun. If you guys know of any more challenges like that, um, let me know down in the comments. Let me, if you've um, done this challenge yourself, link me your video so I can go check it out. Because I really like to see like the comparisons. Um, it's just amazing what makeup can do. And especially since I don't contour or use blush, which I might end up having to invest in tomorrow just to try out. I think it looks pretty good. Because it's like my face has no shape like you can see the shadow here but that's just from the light so anyway there you go I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget we have a patreon page now at patreon.com slash dim and lazy and PC all together um, so there's various levels from a dollar all the way up to like 75 or a hundred dollars there's bunches of rewards for each level. Don't feel like you have to, but if you want to help contribute, especially during this adpocalypse, um, just check that page out. And I have some other people linked in that Patreon that need help too, that have really good channels that if you don't want to help support me, then maybe think about supporting them. Um, one of them, Rob Dyke, Kaylee Elise, Social Repose, and his own girlfriend, Jacqueline Glenn. Um, they all are really good people, and they're a lot bigger than me, um, so I think they were worth helping, so, especially like Rob Duck and Katie Ellis, they have amazing editing and graphics in their YouTube videos, and they're like the true crime horror type 
videos and for some reason YouTube is targeting their videos the, or that type of video the most with demonetizing it not thinking it's family friendly when it, it's fine so anyway thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next video stay safe and I hope you are having a lovely day or night wherever you are and like I said if you can think of any more weird funny challenges let me know and me and lazy NPC will try to do them I'm gonna get him to do my makeup in an upcoming video so that's gonna be fun to see he made me look like a clown because he knows nothing about makeup so there so. like subscribe comment all that good stuff and if you're new to my channel hi and I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe and click that bell as well so you know when I put a new video up, I'm trying to get more regular on my uploads at least once a week. So, but I tend to be a bit sporadic, especially when I have a week full of doctor's appointments. So, anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.